Hello and welcome back to Football Tactics and Glory and Manchester's Journey to the Premier League. My name is Rio and this has been a rough season. That's pretty much been the intro for every single game thus far, but it just keeps getting worse. Manchester's not a deep team to begin with. And now, we have three starters who are suspended. Calvert for one more match, O'Keefe for two matches, and Tompkins for three. We have been forced now to elevate Fry, Dickinson, and Thornton into the starting lineup. And it's just unfortunate. Thornton's not even a class player yet. But that's what, that's what we're left with to deal with. So, our, our goal for this upcoming game against Baton Rouge, obviously we'd love to win. Uh, we would like any win we possibly can because we gotta try and avoid this relegation spot. But, our main goal is to have no one get suspended or injured because we can't afford another loss. Oh no, lots of rain, hard to pass and making fouls more likely, but that's the last thing we need because the refs have it out for us. I mean, it doesn't... It may be uh, a bit extreme saying that, but yeah, the refs have it out for us. We have not been having the calls go our way at all. Well, we still have to try. Thornton getting in is important, but uh, we also are not doing great on the energy front. Triplet is a big, big concern here. Nope, not the club. I meant to look at Triplet here, who used to be on San Jose, and then somehow ended up on Baton Rouge. I don't know why he transferred, but it's the last thing we need right now. Anyways, Baton Rouge versus Manchester FC. We need to win, or we need our players to start coming back and give us some reinforcements. Baton Rouge is going to be starting off with it. We played them before, back when we were both in the Amateur League, and I believe we split our meetings then. So Triplet gets the ball, and tries to dribble past Doss, and is not able to succeed. And I'm assuming Shipley will go for the tackle, and Shipley fouls Doss. Oh, that didn't take long. Shedder passes to O'Donnell. O'Donnell. He's going to go for the break-in. Try and get past Shelton. And he's not able to. This happened all last game. We had... Uh, we should have had chances on goal. But they were taken away every single time we tried to get the ball. Every single time. It is extremely unfortunate. I also don't entirely know what to do with the whole triplet situation. Scruggs is going to move over. Ah, uh, it's triplets moved in now. So we just got to hope we can, they're not able to get it to him. Oates moves out to the side, and Oates is just going to hold this one. Now Donald goes in for the tackle unsuccessfully. Fry is just going to press. And Fry passes to Parks. Parks tries to do a lofted pass to Triplet, and it goes out of bounds, which is great for us. And Hodges passing over to Dickinson. Dickinson will get it to Thacker, and Thacker is just going to hold this one. I wonder how close Thacker is to upgrading. No! And Parks takes it away from Thacker. 
They didn't have the numbers in their favor, but it didn't matter. And now Triplett's got a good chance on goal here. But it's intercepted easily by Scruggs. And it goes for the pass. It's intercepted by Shipley, whose control is better than I expected. And Doss is able to take, is not able to stop that. Ooh, this is not a great situation. Triplet's gonna get the ball and he's motivated. He goes for the shot and it's a goal. That's, that's what one star will do for you. It's just too strong of a player. And O'Donnell is already exhausted. But he does manage to keep the ball this time. It's just O'Donnell on goal. He goes for the shot and O'Donnell ties the game. I don't, I don't think we can afford to take O'Donnell out, but next game he might have to come off. And it is the game that Calvert comes back, so. We could try that. Scherer intercepts Triplett's shot and manages to keep it from Shipley. Jared moves out to the side, passes to Roman, and Roman is just going to hold this one. And Shipley is going to come up to try and take it away, which he succeeds in doing, moves out to the side. Now Dickinson comes up, goes for the slide tackle, isn't able to get it. Guess Thacker could go for that, but it's not a great option. Doss is going to move up. And now there's a direct pass to Triplet in the box. That was not a smart decision on my part. And that is another goal for Triplet, putting Baton Rouge up 2-1. to one. We might have a chance at halftime here. A chance before halftime, I should say. And O'Donnell goes in, isn't able to keep it from Shelton, and that will end the half. Baton Rouge takes a 2-1 lead into halftime. Triplet is just too strong of a player, but we're gonna move Shatter in kind of to block that, and we're gonna have to hope we can get something on goal. Here. We're gonna move. I think we're gonna bring in Yance, not Yancey, Greer, Greer now, and rely on Olson to try and get us back into the game. Because O'Donnell is just exhausted. And Olsen is going to go for the precision shot and can't get it past Shatter. Their Shatter, not ours. Passes to Shelton. Shelton moves up and then moves back. There's not even much we can do, but Olsen's gonna try to take it away. Unsuccessfully. Passes to Bunch. Bunch is just gonna hold this one. And they're it seems like they're just going to play a keep-away game with us here. And we're 
we're gonna bring over Greer to press Bunch. And Bunch is just gonna hold this one. Press with Bunch. Try and take it with Fry. No luck. So Olsen keeps going over. And this time they pass to Oates. And Oates moves away. Is he going to? Yes, he is going to. See that Fry will press to give Olsen a chance, which he takes. And he's gonna go for the shot, and Olsen ties the game! Baton Rouge and Manchester are tied here. What a shot by Olsen. Just what we needed. Triplet gets the ball. Triplet will move off to the side and go for the shot, and he scores to take the lead again. With our team so depleted, we just can't do anything about this. I wonder if going out here will work. And that is a goal. Olsen ties it right back. We're away for me to set this up that will stop Triplet from getting that goal. I think Worthington coming in for Fry. We'll try that. It's not, it's unlikely to be any better than what we've done, but we have to stop Triplet. If we have any hope of getting back into this game, we have to stop him. And Scruggs kicks it away. We have a chance here. The ball gets past Gilmore to Thacker. Olsen gets the ball. He's going to go for the shot. Here we go. Olsen's shot is intercepted by Pennington. And Pennington kicks the ball out of bounds towards Bunch. Roman will get the ball. Olsen. It's, it's really all up to Olsen. Can he get the ball here? Yes, he can. Olsen gets the ball. He's exhausted. He's going to move slightly, slightly in. And he's going to go for the shot. And Olsen gives Manchester the lead. It is four to three. Will they have a chance? Do they have a chance still to... Will they still have a chance here? Gonna put Thacker back. I don't I don't think there's anything else we can do here. They've still got a chance to tie it, but Thacker intercepts the pass! Thacker intercepts it! And that's it! That's it! Manchester triumphs 4-3 over Baton Rouge! Oh, finally, our luck has gone our way. I can't believe we pulled that off. Olsen with a critical hat trick. He scored three goals in the last 20 minutes of the game to match triplet. And O'Donnell's opening goal proved to be the difference. Man, a depleted, a completely depleted Manchester managed to keep Baton Rouge from winning their first game in the league. And we got two upgrades here. We got Roman. Uh, he's 30. Might be a good idea to do 30% experience. Ooh. And then we got Scruggs, who's nearly... 
nearly uh, gone. Yeah, uh, we're going to do plus 30% transfer cost because Scruggs is going to be leaving us uh, fairly soon. And we want to get as much as we can for him. And there we have it. We triumphed 4 to 3. Louisville beat Topeka 2 to 1. Anchorage beat Augusta 2 to 1. Little Rock crushed Billings 5 to 1. I don't even know what happened with Boise, but they lost 7 to nothing to, to Newark. And Hartford beat Montpelier 4 to 3. So we are still in ninth, but we're much closer to Boise and Billings now than before. I, I just can't say how critical that victory was. And now, and we did our goal. No one got injured. No one got suspended. And Calvert is back. <sighs> In our next game, we take on Boise, who unfortunately is one of the teams that we had a lot of trouble with in our previous games. Although they don't have a defending midfielder anymore. Oh, do that. They still do. They've got Bowers. And Bowers is annoying. And we don't even have O'Keefe to properly tackle that. But we are just going to bask in the glory of today's win. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was really up and down in the game. It's a very exciting game. But we pulled it off, and I hope you join me for next time. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot and helps people find this series and the game, because Football Tactics of Glory is a great game, although I don't think I need to tell you that. Anyways, I hope you have a great day, and happy gaming.